happening, Captain? Mm -hmm. Hey, son. Hey, Mom. Ah. Hey, boy. Mm. Good to see you. <laughs> Good to see you. Have a seat. Have a seat. Thanks. Hi, Mom. Hi, Dad. Hi, hon. Denise? Good to see both of you. Denise, how do you like being a mom? Oh, um. <laughs> My hair's going really well. Don't you? I'm still alive. <laughs> <laughs> she loves to make that joke. I have cheese and crackers in the next room. Thank you. Come with you, help you. Uh, don't be silly. Your in laws have come all the way from Milwaukee to see you. Sit down, I'll get it. Okay, I'll help you. <laughs> Denise, it's just mm. cheese and crackers, honey. Okay. Is there something going on between you and Martin's mother? <laughs> Nothing. She's here from Milwaukee. It's great. Denise, is this me you're talking to? I don't know, Mom. I can only say that there's friction between Martin's mother and me. Well, that's not such an uncommon thing. Mothers are very protective of their sons. Look, I went through a similar thing with your grandmother. Different, okay. Martin's mother can't stand me. You may think that, but I'm sure that it just isn't true. I happen to know it's true. Did the woman look you in the eye and say, Denise, I can't stand you? No. She said it to Martin. She did? <laughs> Martin's told me twice that his mother can't stand me. She thinks that I'm a flake. Can you believe that? <laughs> She only knew me for 20 minutes, Mom. I didn't do anything to her. I'm sitting here trying to make this marriage work. Well, then why would she berate you like that behind your back? I don't know. Well, I didn't tell you what she said to my face. When I met her, she said, I hope you don't approach your marriage like you did your college career. Then Martin made me put on the sweater. feed you either. Well, this is such a beautiful kitchen. Imagine a fireplace. Such a, such a lovely touch. You know, I've always thought of people in New York living in these small apartments, but this is a big, beautiful home. Thank you. I don't think you really need any help here in the kitchen. I think I'll just go spend some time with Olivia. Mrs. Kendall. Please, I'm Lorraine. Lorraine. Yes. Could we sit... Lorraine, my daughter is not comfortable with you. Well, I sensed something was going on. Martin told her what you said about her. What did I say? You said you can't stand Denise. What? I would never say anything like that. Martin said you did. Let, let me just start by telling you about Martin's first marriage. He was fresh out of Annapolis and said he had to get married right away to this beautiful, intelligent girl named Paula. Well, now, you know what I think is this is probably the first girl Martin ever... Okay. Now, about a year goes by, Olivia's born, and Paula decides that she doesn't want to be a wife and a mother anymore. And she just ups and goes away. Claire, when Martin brought your daughter home, I was so upset, I took him aside and I said, son, I can't stand this. Now I'm talking about I can't stand the way he goes off and gets married without giving it any thought. It has nothing to do with Denise. I was angry with Martin. Well, you have been misquoted. Misquoted and misunderstood. <laughs> These two children ought to be thankful they have mothers like us who can put up with them. I want to thank you because uh -huh. we are the best things that ever happened to them. Now, listen, wait, wait. Just wait till this sweet, precious little Olivia starts giving the same kind of aggravation they're giving us. Lorraine, let's get on our knees right now and pray. Mm. <laughs> let's pray that Olivia grows up uh -huh. and comes home one day with three husbands, four children, and a dog. Yeah. <laughs> 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 